Welcome back everyone. As you probably guessed from the title of the video as well as the thumbnail today, we're just gonna be talking about kind of an update as to what is going on with the Hurricane Helene relief uh, situation. Uh, I went out there today again. I went to Mountain City. We were supposed to go to Asheville for the first time, for me anyway, uh, but that didn't end up happening. Things are still very fluid in terms of that. So we went out to uh, Mountain City, Tennessee again, uh, which is East Tennessee, visited with our friend Linda, got her some more equipment, got her six generators, as well as a bunch of cold weather gear and cold weather clothing, uh, because right now it is getting cold out in the mountains. Uh, there was snow several places that we went to today on the ground. So it is happening, it is getting cold. Obviously I'm wearing a sweatshirt here. I'm, I'm many, many hours away by drive from there and uh, it's even cold here so it's much colder up there as you guys can imagine so we went there uh, dropped off some supplies there then went over to banner elk dropped off some supplies there one cool thing in my opinion to see um, about banner elk was that again we were just there a couple days ago and uh, essentially all the supplies that were there a couple of days ago were gone It might be hard to tell. You might not have a frame of reference, but stuff is still coming in. But a lot of the stuff that was here when we were here a couple days ago is gone and out the people in need in the Banner Elk region. And all new supplies were in. So it just kind of shows the efficiency of that all volunteer system to distribute supplies out to the community. And again, we got them generators as well, as well as cold weather clothing, as well as bedding uh, for cold weather, because obviously a lot of people are not a lot of people, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong way to say it. Many people at this point have received generators who are in need. Uh, the thing you gotta remember about that, just talking to one of the guys today, is most of them are only running them for a couple hours a day, simply because the logistics to get all the fuel that's needed to them, as well as the cost of that fuel, isn't quite there yet. Um, so I say that to say that, you know, we're getting portable heaters and things like that sent out. Uh, all of that's in the works, and a lot of it has already happened, but uh, it's not like they're heating their houses uh, with these generators. They're just, you know, doing some cooking, running their water, depending on what kind of system they're on, uh, flushing the toilets, getting a little bit of heat, uh, recharging the refrigerator, etc. It's not running 24 hours a day because again, the logistics to get the fuel in there, whether it be propane or gas, just simply isn't there. So that that is kind of what's going on right now. That has been the focus in terms of what has been donated over to cold weather focused gear and cold weather focused equipment, if you will. Um, right now, most places have at least the capability to be supplied by like ATV or four wheel drive vehicles. Uh, I mentioned this on Mug Club. Uh, the other day, but <clears throat> a lot of the locals have essentially, if a road is washed out, they've just knocked down both sides of it and made it sort of like a gully. So that way, if you have a four wheel drive vehicle or a uh, like an ATV, generally speaking, you can get some supplies in there. A lot of places you still can't drive like a sedan into, um, but the things are, things are changing, things are improving for sure. Um, it's definitely a good update to see. We have reached out to a company as of yesterday. You guys will see that whenever it all arrives. Uh, but that company has donated a bunch of generators and uh, portable heaters, things like that, that are of course indoor safe. And that will be probably the next thing you see on this series. But that is kind of what has happened. That is the update, the need for water. I'll just tell you this. The two things that uh, every place I've been over the last week has said that they do not need is water and tampons. Uh, so just, just know that uh, the need for water has been met. Of course, the long-term need is going to be through filtration systems like we've talked about here before on the channel. Uh, there's just, you can't just keep trucking these, this water in eventually. And a lot of water filters have gone out, which is huge. I know uh, last I read was 15,000 have gone out uh, to people impacted by that because most places in the mountains have some sort of stream relatively close that they can actually acquire the water and filter it. So uh, that is happening. So that is the update. Uh, things are happening. The people are donating. I should mention, uh, I talked to uh, the head of the United States Veteran Corps, who we've been working with, you know, since uh, a couple days after the storm here on the channel. And uh, he said uh, directly to me on the phone the other day uh, that it, myself, as well as one other um, influencer, I hate that word, <laughs> have essentially been uh, 
touting their services and touting their uh, relief effort to our audiences and that it made a huge difference in donations. So uh, that's directly from him. You guys are making a huge difference to donations, which in turn is making a huge difference uh, to the people on the ground. Um, and again, there's still virtually outside of Asheville and Boone, there's virtually zero uh, FEMA on the ground. They just don't exist. It's all uh, private citizens as well as charitable organizations uh, that are working to make all this happen. So it's all of you guys who are either sharing the video, liking the video, donating to United States Veteran Corps and other organizations. Samaritan's Purse is doing a great job out there. We have to give them uh, credit where credit's due. They're doing a lot out there. Um, so the situation isn't solved and it won't be for a long time. Um, you know, there's thing about it, one thing that kind of hit me is that a lot of these people that have lost their homes, like literally their houses are down the river including all of their belongings, most of them still have mortgages they have to pay on that. And they're still making mortgage payments on a house they don't have. So it's crazy, uh, but the there's been a lot of good that has happened over the last three weeks as well. And uh, a lot of that good is, is you guys who are watching this video. So I'm just the guy with the camera, you know what I mean? Uh, you guys are the ones that are actually making it happen. So we appreciate that. And uh, just wanted to give you the update there. Additionally, I have said it in every video here on YouTube so far that we've talked about this. Brownells is the main channel, channel sponsor for all of our videos here. Um, they have sponsored this video. And of course, if you guys don't know who they are, Gunsmithing supplies, ammunition, firearms, optics, accessories, all of those things over there at Brownells. All of the money from each sponsorship of the video in this uh, relief series, if you will, is going straight back into the fund to help the folks over there. Uh, so Brownells is helping as well through that indirect method, which we definitely appreciate. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you, again, if you guys aren't following me on all my socials, you should be because that's where the most recent updates have been. Uh, just today alone, it's the end of the day. Sun's going down, as you guys can see. Um, but we have been letting people what's, know rather what's going on in the different places that we've been across my social media, especially Twitter and Truth. Definitely check those places out and uh, sign up for my email list as well. And for those of you guys that don't have email because you're like under 30, uh, sign up for the text message service as well for new videos as well as exclusive deals, things like that. And uh, one of the video there, things are progressing. They're not over. But there's a lot of good out there that's happening on the ground because of all of you people. So thank you. We'll see you guys in the next video.